In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of transpose of a matrix. We already know what is transpose and we have seen in our previous videos as to what transpose actually means by its properties. In this video, we have a numerical problem. Let's start with the problem. The problem says that if A is a given matrix of 2 by 2 order, find the value of A plus A dash. A plus A dash where A dash is the transpose of A. I again repeat, if A is the given matrix, find A plus A dash. The question is very simple. We already know that A is given to us. Let's find out A dash. A dash means what? A dash basically means that you have to find the transpose and transpose means what? Interchange the rows with the columns and columns with the rows. So let's do it quickly. The first row which is 3, 4 now becomes my first column. So 3 comes here, 4 comes here. Similarly, 2, 3 which is the second row becomes my second column. So 2, 3 comes here. Now, when all things are done such as the placement of the rows and columns, what is left? You just have to find the value and the value of what? Of A plus A dash. And that will be again a matrix. The matrix which was given to you was of 2 by 2 order. The transposed matrix also had a 2 by 2 order. And mind it, because they have the same orders, only then we can perform addition operation. So we are performing the addition and the result is also a 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's add the values. 3 here, 3 here gives me 6. Similarly, 4 plus 2 gives me 6. Here, 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 4 is again 6. And last but not the least, 3 plus 3 is also 6. So basically, my answer is a matrix which has all the entries as 6. Now since this question is done, this is left as the answer. But one thing I want to make you very clear. If the question had not been A plus A dash, but it had been A minus A dash. What should be done? In that question also, you have to just check that yes, even after transpose, the order does not change. So yes, we can perform matrix subtraction also. Addition, subtraction, both of these operations are possible only when the involved matrices are having the same order. The answer to this question is basically this, with all the entries 6.